going down. Okay, guys, my bad. I think my father got a goddamn virus on it. This shit just keep popping up on it. Um, teacher, Epi 11. Only got one more to go. Then you guys can stop, you know, getting on my ass about this shit because it's only one more to go. Bro. Nah. <laughs> See something you like, Mia? Busted, how am I gonna explain myself? Uh. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I do. You're handsome. I'm not gonna lie. But you, you either got a really low self esteem and need approval all the time, or a really high self esteem, huge ego, and need to show it off all the time. This is the second time within a week I've seen you half naked. But you're right. I do like what I see. But I've been. But I, but I would have liked it more if you weren't my teacher. You're something else, Nia. <laughs> I'm impressed that you act, you actually admitted to it. Mm. But in my defense, you seem to be around every time I'm half naked. Coincidence? Definitely a coincidence, girl. Oh, really? Cassie, ooh, because I've seen the way you've been looking at him ever since I got here. Hey, baby face. What, what are you, what the fuck? Oh, this old thing. <laughs> I'm a sexy kitten. What are you doing here, girl? I think the question should be, who am I doing here? Well, tell me it isn't true, girl. It's really none of your business, man. Ugh. Don't mean none of your business. No, oh, don't you mean none of your business? Girl, no. If you've previously made the right choice, you now have a chance to fire back at them. Let's see. Unfortunately, you didn't make the right choice. Okay, girl, what the fuck up, girl? Uh, you choose to text Will instead of Daryl. Oh. You text Daryl, you could have said something against him and Kelly. Oh, we better be careful. Daryl, she looks like she's going to cry. Wow, it's actually such a turn off. Let's go back to the ads. See you on Monday, baby. Peace. Oh, wow. Thank you for stepping in, Daryl. I felt humiliated angry. I couldn't believe he didn't step in and stop Cassie. Well, why the fuck not? And was I calling her Cassie or was I calling her Callie? <laughs> I don't feel like I've said Cassie since my ass has started talking. <laughs> I was on the verge of quitting. Then I remember what Miss Collins told me at the airport. Daryl's a bit lost for reasons I don't know, and I shouldn't be surprised by his many girlfriends. Besides, I knew I didn't have to like him to do my job. Kylie is the one that matters. I can't leave her now. But one thing for sure, I just lost a bit of respect I had for him. I don't care that he's my teacher anymore. He's he clearly doesn't respect me, so why would I respect him? They make a beautiful couple. Bitches. I'm done with them. Okay, girl. I doubt it, girl. But we can be on Miguel's head, girl. No problem. Sunday evening. Is this your father's house? Sunday came, so I went over... To Williams, nope, to help with his math homework. I stayed in my I stayed in my room for most of the day getting some homework done. That way I wouldn't have to run into any of them before I left to go to help Will. Luckily I didn't run into any of them when I left either. He's more your age range here, girl, so you you talk to him. Don't want the other man going to prison. <laughs> so are you ready to work that brain as ready as I'll ever be 
Thanks again for helping me. You're a lifesaver. Don't thank me. Just bring me gifts. Kidding. But please tell me you've got uh the fridge stacked with soda. Stacked, stocked with soda. As a matter of fact, I have. I also brought Dr. Pepper just for you. You did? <laughs> I have no idea how you could drink that stuff. But I still got it for you. It's so sweet. It's really sweet if you will. I just wanted to make sure you wouldn't run out of energy. It's going to be a, a long night. That sounded really wrong. <laughs> it did, but I know what you meant. Thank you. Are your parents not home? No, my dad's in the office working on some things. My mom's catching up with some friends. I see. They're prob they'll probably be home late, so we've got the house to ourselves and some nice pe uh, some, and some nice peace and quiet. Some nice peace of quiet, bitch. Never heard that, girl. Okay. Let me remove the plates from the table, then we can get started, okay? Sounds good. We sat down, me with Dr. Pep, with a Dr. Pepper, and Will with a Pepsi twist accompanying us. We slowly but steadily got through the exercises with Will, cracking a, a joke every now and then, asking for breaks a lot, and me holding him by his ear, even though I sometimes got, even though it's, uh, that's, even though I sometimes got us distracted. By reminiscing of our childhood days, it was so good to have him back in my life again. I had a feeling that we'd be able to pick our friendship up from where we left it. And even make it grow stronger than that. Okay, girl. He he sighed us. He looked down at the exercise we'd been struggling to get. I've been, we'd been un struggling to get him to understand. But bitch, we ain't been struggling. I've been struggling clearly for the uh, past hour. Half, well, for the past half hour, he looked up at me. His arms laying across the table, oh, across on the table. I playfully hit him on the forehead with my pencil. Don't give up, Will. You almost had it. Concentrate. Maybe asking you to help me was a bad idea, he said, looking. <laughs> Look at that. It's fucking paper. I'm doing what I can, Will, I said, annoyed, a bit hurt by his words. Not that you're not a good tutor, Mia. He looked up at me with a hint of smile on his lips. But you're asking me to concentrate is... Like asking a butterfly not to fly. Okay, girl. So, what's that supposed to mean? It means it's kind of impossible to ask someone to concentrate when you're the distraction. Well, let's see. Let's, let's... Child, tell me this man don't look like his motherfucking name is Miguel, child. <laughs> he looked deep into my eyes. Licked his fucking lips <laughs> and smiled back into the into the paper as he saw me realize that he just what he just said. You honestly think I'm beautiful? I said while tucking a strand of hair behind my ear. I think you're an obnoxious know it all. You're way too concerned about yourself, and you seriously weird taste in sodas. <laughs> sodas. <laughs> I lifted an eyebrow at him, pretended to not, so it, it pretended to be hurt, and caressed my can of Dr. Pepper. But yes, I think you're beautiful and funny. And yes, I do feel like you're distracting me a bit. Um, well, maybe I should leave then. I said mockingly, pretending to gather my papers. No, please don't leave. <laughs> He said, smiling, and put his hands on top of mine. We both looked down into our hands, and it could feel my cheeks getting warm. Girl, you always fucking blushing for no motherfucking reason. <laughs> for a second, he looked at my lips, then I looked at his. Damn. Surprise, bitch. Yeah, surprise. You got excellent timing, girl. Fuck. <laughs> 
I'm not sure what would have happened if Miss Anderson did not step through the door, scaring the crap out of us. <laughs> but I knew we quickly pulled away as if we was about to do something embarrassing. So we got up and got out to greet her. And me, I was hoping I'd catch you before you headed home again. It's good to see you again, Mia. You've grown up so much. It's good to see you too, Miss Anderson. Mom, what are you doing scaring us? And why are you home so early? Say, what the hell are you talking about, girl? She walked over to us and hugged me tightly. I might have hurried home a bit to see if I could catch Mia before she left. And I wasn't trying to scare you, only surprise you. I'm really happy you came back to Woodstock, Miss Anderson. I, I might have missed Will a little, a little bit. We're happy to be back, sweetie. Washington was a bore. People were way too serious, girl. I just got an idea. Would you and your dad like to come and eat Sunday roast with us next Sunday? Sunday roast? I almost forgot how British you all are. Will was born in London. London, darling, London. And both of his parents are true-born Britons. They moved from London when he was four years old. To which, of course, he resulted in Will having the cutest Americanized British accent. He talks like an American, but he sounds ex exactly like an Englishman. <laughs> I am honestly a sucker for that. So, you're a damn Mexican man. Well, you look like a damn Mexican man. And you sound British. Oh, Jesus. But yes, I would love that. And I think Dad would too. But I have to warn you. He's gotten a bit more eccentric since you last saw him fantastic we were bored out of our silly minds dying with all those stuck up businessmen in washington good we'll be there good we'll i'll well i'll leave you to it i trust you will i trust you to whip him into shape mia the math homework isn't hasn't exactly been something we have uh yearned to do I'll do my best, but he's a tough nut. Would you expect anything else from Will? Not at all. I hope to see you more, Mia, dear. <clears throat> she looked over at Will like that remark was exactly headed towards him instead of me. Mm -hmm. Will was getting annoyed, so his mother hurried off. <clears throat> Sorry if that made you uncomfortable. Well, please, it's your mother whom I have known for many years. I really like her. Clearly, she loves you, too. <laughs> Let's get back to the last exercise, okay? And so we did. Will let out a huge sigh of relief as we closed the books. We hugged and I headed home once again, hoping not to encounter Daryl. Girl, but of course, you're going to run into his ass. Or he going to come into your fucking room or something. I got home. Kylie and Daryl were in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Kylie was on the phone with Miss Collins. Kylie waved and smiled at me, but Daryl didn't even look at me as I walked past the doorway. So I walked up to my room. I wanted to update Kelly on the whole situation. Of course, she thought he was being a jerk and I could hear... <sighs> She was secretly hinting that I should be with Sam. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to have anything serious with anyone at the at that point. I just got out of a relationship. Girl, what you really what you really wasn't in one girl. I like the thought of being free and having the right to drool over all the gorgeous men around me. Even though Daryl was a jerk, he was he was an attractive jerk. But honestly, I was pretty disappointed, and I thought he was making the this whole thing uncomfortable. Um, this is hope it was him. Shit, hopefully coming to apologize for letting Cassie walk right over me and actually 
laughing about it. Oh, it's, um, Kylie. <clears throat> but it wasn't him, it was Kylie. Miss Collins wanted to talk to me. Yeah, she's here. I love you too. Bye, Mom. Mom would like to talk to you. Me, I'm going to bed. Thank you, Kylie. I'll see you in the morning, sweet dreams. Hey, Ellie, how are you? Mia, dear, it's good to hear your voice. I'm very well, thank you. My mother's doing a bit better. That's great news. Yes, it is. Anyway, I just wanted to hear how things are going. Are you and Kylie getting along? Kelly's an amazing girl. I think we're getting along really well, which is a relief. Oh, that's good to hear. How about you and Daryl? Mm, I didn't I didn't want to worry her, but I actually felt like I needed to talk to her about him. She knows him after all. Well, honestly, I don't think we're getting along. He's very hard for me to read, and I feel like I can't get through to him. I'm not surprised to hear you say that, Mia. I actually prepared for that. <laughs> what do you mean prepared for it? In my bedroom, <laughs> in my nightstand drawer, there's an envelope with quite a bit of money inside. I'd like you to take that money to Mia. I'd like you to take that money, Mia. Oh, and arrange a, well, a bonding trip for the three. <clears throat> you can go wherever you like with the money. But let me suggest you go somewhere where Daryl won't be affected by the outside people. You know, like, don't go someplace warm where there will be a lot of girls in bikinis. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Someplace cold then. <laughs> that would be my suggestion, yes. Someplace private, like this nice igloo hotel in Finland. Really? Finland. I've always wanted to go there, see the northern lights. Well, I haven't been there myself, but I've heard it, uh, great things about it. It's pretty luxurious, too. We girls like that, right? Absolutely love it, girl. <laughs> Which girl doesn't like to be spoiled a bit? Haha. <laughs> well, I, for one, love to pamper myself and bathe in luxury. Uh -huh. It's why I started my beauty business. Miss Collins told me more about how she started her business. She owns a lot of posh beauty salons across the country, um, which explains her amazing house and glowing complexion. I was very impressed by her business skills. Well, it's an amazing opportunity, Ellie. <coughs> um, I'll um I'll bring the idea up for Daryl. I'm not sure he'll want to go with me, though. I think he thinks I'm boring. <laughs> In Daryl language, that's probably because you haven't thrown yourself at him. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's used to that. Thank you for being professional, Mia. However, he won't have a choice. I want you three to go and have a good time. So let me talk to him. I'll call him tomorrow, okay? Thanks a lot, Ellie, really. Thank you for trying to make things easier between us. Of course, dear. Anyway, you're heading to bed, right? I just woke up, so I'll go visit my mother now. <laughs> Take care, Mia. <laughs> Take a look at the um, Arctic Resort. Then, um, when you have time, it's beautiful. I will. Good night, Ellie. I wish I was going to sleep, y'all. I couldn't help but freak out a bit at the fact that we're going to Finland. Never traveled so much. I've only been out of the country once, and it was with my mother's thirtieth birthday. We visited, uh, we visit, they visited fucking Mexico. Mexico, I said Mexico. My mother's hometown. Oh, so you the Mexican? Okay, girl. We stayed at my granddad's home. Unfortunately, I was only four, so. I don't remember it all. Mom got sick a year later and died close to my sixth birthday. And my granddad also since passed away. I don't have uh, any family left. Um, but I wish I had. It was getting late and I almost couldn't wait until morning to tell Kelly about Finland. 
but I didn't want to risk waking her up. She gets really cranky when she's tired. Now I just had to wait until Joe had talked to Ellie. A luxurious gate wait with him and a getaway with him and um, Kylie. I'm not sure it'll go very well. I'm quite excited to see how he's going to approach me. That is, if he approaches me. Okay, y'all. That was that. I hope y'all enjoyed that.